Hey guys, Gary Fong here, and there's been a lot of interest in EMF meters and how to use them. So in this video, I'm going to show you the one that I chose, very inexpensive, very small, charges by USB, and I'm going to show you how to work it so that you can get some meaningful information out of it without getting too nerdy. So this is a meter that I use, and this one is called a GQ EMF 390. What I like about it, it has three different measurements. It has radio frequency, which is what I'm on right now. I can rotate it. It has EMF in milligauss, that's magnetic field. And then it has electric field in volts per meter. And it, down here, it shows you this histogram of how much radiation is coming in. You can see it. And it says mixed or Wi-Fi, or it'll, if you're by a cell tower, it'll show you that. Down here, same thing with radio frequency. It'll show you the source. But you'll notice that they're all different numbers. This one only shows magnetic field radiation. And this one shows all three. So, for example, my magnetic field is up here on the right. And once you start to learn what the safe units are, that's one thing that's really kind of cool and what these actually mean. But for the lay person, oh, and what I like is this thing's so small and it charges in a little... USB thing. But what I like for the person who doesn't really know anything about units or what these measurements mean, it's nice because for the dummy it says you're in the normal range for EMF and when something goes in here you're in the medium range for uh, electric field down here for radio uh, frequency it shows you how much is coming in. How cool is that? What I like about this meter is you can walk around town or whatever and if you start to get dizzy or a headache or something seems off check out your meter and this thing will probably start blinking at you when things aren't aren't uh, aren't safe but right now what I like is it says normal go down here to RF go down to RF spectrum and you'll see right here the gigahertz and right here you'll see that this is the radio frequency that's the one we typically want to measure at 2.4 gigahertz which is uh, 4 GLTE. We're showing very low down here. Down here this is up to 10 gigahertz which is 5G. 5G that's currently released is called low band or mid band. It's anywhere between 2.5 and uh, 6 uh, gigahertz which they call sub 6. And so what you'll see and down here is the peak. So this is as high as it's gotten. So this is highly instructional uh, to help you understand when things are good. It's not expensive but don't buy the ones that are not multimeters. Don't buy something like this. Uh, this is really good if you're trying to see how much like magnetic field comes off the back of your refrigerator or high voltage you know, appliances or things like that. This is not something that you would want to use for phone, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. This is the one that you would want to use. And again, for the dummy who just doesn't know anything, you just want to buy it and you want to start using it, take it, put it in an all-in-one mode, and then let that thing go into your triple meter status and it will show you you can rotate and that's what's really fun like a little windmill you can go to magnetic or electronic or radio and for each of those it'll show you the flux coming in see that down there and it'll tell you what the signal is Wi-Fi phone so when you're by a cell tower it'll tell you that and it'll show all the different numbers that are lighting up so I know a lot of people now have a lot of interest in getting these with all of those crazy towers popping up everywhere. And I know a lot of my friends, they buy one and then they go driving around town and they, um, you know, find out where the places are kind of going nutty and then they avoid those places. So there's these things kind of like in today's society, you kind of need to have them. OK, anyway, so um, it's an GQ EMF 390. Um, and um, I should have the link in uh, the comments below. Thanks for watching.